I'm Sarah Wyman. And I'm Phil Wyman. Between us, we have investigated countless locations in our search for proof of the paranormal. We are invited to question the unexplained, to uncover what may be lurking in the shadows. With many reported hauntings throughout the UK, no two investigations are the same. Now, together with a team of experienced investigators, we continue to seek evidence to prove whether a haunting can be validated or not. From a selection of cases we each receive, we will come together to pick the most interesting and ask the question, Are you haunted? My location that I'm bringing to the table is a bed and breakfast. Guests have reported seeing grey mists and also seeing the beds moving, as well as hearing footsteps outside of their rooms. My location is a haunted workplace. Objects go missing and turn up in obscure places days later. There's the sound of a door opening and closing on the upper floor, and the reports of an apparition of a dog, and feelings of cold spots in various places in the building. My location is a large mansion house dating back to 1865. There's many reports of hauntings, including ghostly shadows, footsteps heard and disembodied voices. There's also an apparition of a military gentleman, which has been seen in the basement. This is a vast location, which would be a privilege to investigate. We've all looked at the venues, we've all read the information inside the files, but who wants to do what? Sarah? Um, I'm going to go for the Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion. Ben? Go for the B&B. B&B, &B, one each, Haunted Mansion and Bed and Breakfast. Dale? Uh, I'm going to stay with mine, I'm going to stay with the workplace. Okay, workplace, mansion, bed and breakfast, one apiece, Jane? Mansion. Mansion is in the lead! <coughs> and I am going to go with the mansion. Yay. So it looks like the Haunted Mansion has won. Whose is the Haunted Mansion? It's mine. It's yours. So it looks like we're off to investigate the Haunted Mansion and see what we can find. Okay, hello and welcome to Encliffe's Hall in the heart of Sheffield. I'm well, not far from the heart of Sheffield. Uh, this one, venue-wise, is Sarah's, so give us a bit of information. Well, what can I say? What do we think? First impressions when you walk through that door and you see this staircase. 
magnificent. <laughs> Isn't yeah. it? It just yeah. blows you Fantastic. away, doesn't it? Beautiful yeah. building. It's not quite as big as ours, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wouldn't fancy hoovering these stairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. You don't hoover any stairs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so a little bit of information. I've got some notes here. So, um, this present hall was built between the years of 1863 and 1865 for the Sheffield industrialist John Brown. So there's a name to um, maybe call out for mm. later on. Um, it dates back to the 1300s. So the first hall was believed to have been built in the reign of George II. Um, an earlier building, they're saying it might have existed on this site. On so, the same site as yeah, this. Yeah, so right. it, it could even go further back than that. Mm. Um, obviously, it's a military building. It's still in mili military operation. Who uses it then? It's the army. Oh, okay. So it's the army reserves that are using this building. Right. So quite mm. quite privileged really to be in here, I think. Mm. This is a busy building in the day, I was told earlier. Yeah. yeah. So there's loads of people in there all day. And to have it like this is extremely weird. Yeah, it's, right. it's a military field hospital. So it's used to present day. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So thinking about in terms of what we've had activity-wise, what I've done is, as usual, I've done some research on the internet to have a look, see what, what else has been reported. Um, we have had other groups that have been in this building. Okay, okay, it's not overly done, but there is other paranormal teams that have been in here. So going by what they've seen, um, we've got disembodied voices, um, shadow figures, footsteps heard. It's quite similar to other places that we've been to before. One um, incident in particular, which wasn't a paranormal team, um, there was a group of people being photographed actually on this staircase. Photographer was down at the bottom with his tripod set up. Everybody was, as we are, pretty much on the stairs, ready for the photograph to be Spooky. taken. <laughs> and just as a guy, the uh, photographer was looking into the lens, taking the photo, he said, oh, hang on a minute, I'm going to do that again because somebody's obviously just walked past the camera. And everybody that was here on the stairs having the photo taken said, what are you talking about? Nobody's walked past. Right. Apparently in the actual picture that came out, there is to, to the edge of the screen, like a white mist. I've heard that um, from the lady that let us in this evening and I've also seen that on the internet as well. So that's from two different sources, that same story. And that's something I can look at replicating as well. Absolutely, I was going to say that, yeah. Oh yeah, good idea. We'll yeah. try that. Yeah. So we've got 36 rooms in this building, okay. We don't have access to everyone because mm. obviously it is still a working kind of yeah. utility. So a lot of rooms are locked. Um, we have got a, a, a big basement to have a look in. Um, Again, talking to Helen that's let us in this evening, she was telling us that there is a military type um, apparition or spirit that is down in the basement. Mm. Okay. okay, so that'll be interesting. Mm. Whoever gets to go down in the basement, and I'm looking at you, Ben. <laughs> 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 Hashtag Team Ben. <laughs> um, am I right in saying that this is still the largest private residence? Apparently so, yeah. Uh, in, Sheffield, in, Sheffield, in Sheffield, in the area. With the 36 mm. rooms or, or whatever, yeah. Okay, so... It must cost a lot of money. Mm. Mind you, in them days, we won't think of it these days, but it cost a lot of money, but in them days it would have been a fortune. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, so, right. Are we uh, ready to go and turn out the lights? I think we should turn out the lights, yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Let's turn out the lights. <laughs> Okay, so where's everybody going then? Um, obviously, Tim and myself are staying at the hub to look over the CCTV cameras. Um, Jane and Dale, where are you guys going? We're going to go upstairs. We're going to have a nosy round up there, see what we can find up there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ben and Sarah, where are you guys going? Deep down into the basement. Deep down. On your own, Ben? <laughs> My mum's coming with me. Come on then, let's do it. You got torch? Aye. Got radios? Aye. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. See you Have soon. Have fun. Ta ta ta. Bye. So we're going down, me and Ben, into the basement. I think we'll leave the door open. Yeah, don't get trapped in the basement, do we? No, not really. <laughs> Flip the light off. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, my word. So 
this is the presentation room. Okay. Cooler up here. So obviously there are a lot of bodies in here. Um, for various presentations and such like, so hopefully there's some activity in here. It's still a nice room though, isn't it? It is, it's a gorgeous room. To say it's any presentation room, if you look around Jane, look at the ceiling, um, as to how ornate it is. Wow. Um, the pictures on the wall, the paintings, the the, the, the the photos as well on the wall of various different things. There are some magnificent artifacts in here. Okay, this is uh, Tim and myself at the hub looking over the CCTV cameras. I'll just give you um, a rundown of what we can see on the CCTV cameras for you. I'll just turn this around. Okay, so that's our view of the cameras. Um, this one is literally just outside our door and to the left looking at the main stairs. Okay. This one here, which is the top right on our view, is kind of looking at the upper landings. Uh, this on the bottom right, as we look at it, is the bar area. And the bottom left is one of the back corridors. Yeah. Just, just, just down here, that takes you down to the basement. Mm. Um, and as you can see there, there's a camera just there, okay, which is pointing at us. And excuse the light, there's another camera just there, which is pointing at us too. So that's filming us at the hub. Mm. It is so spooky down here. Why did you bring me down here? <laughs> so apparently, there's supposed to be some kind of a. Um, go around the corner. <laughs> um, a spirit down here, which is a male spirit who is connected with the military. It's just down there. Oh, wow. Hello? Did you hear a shuffle like this? Sorry, we just sort of at the junction, if you like, on the corner. So we've got a tunnel behind us, a tunnel in front of us, and from that way. Oh my gosh. There's noises now. From down there. It's like a shuffling noise. Where are you? You wave? I'm waving. I see you. What's that banging noise? Where are you? You wave? I'm waving. I see you. What's that banging noise? You hear it again then? Yeah. Is anyone still banging about? Oh wow. Anyone. Is it inside or outside that noise? Can you hear it on this radio? Yeah, I've got you. Did you take that Jane just talking to the radio? Did I? No, Jane's not got radio, I've got radio. Is there anybody here trying to speak or communicate with us? There were, there's been a couple of bangs. Yeah, quite loud ones. Quite well. loud ones. <laughs> um, now we've also heard a couple of bangs as well. Yeah, you should make a noise. She coughed uh, very lightly. Do you want me to do it again? 
Ja, det vil jeg gerne nævne. <coughs> Not on the freaking walkie talkie, you dipstick. <laughs> There you go, she's done it. <laughs> what are you fucking like? Did you just tell us a yawn? It wasn't me! <laughs> no, did you just yawn? <laughs> <laughs> no, I bloody didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that noise? No. What? Looks like a bang. Not a big bang, but a bang. Said what? Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh. Can we go upstairs? What the fuck? Can we go upstairs? I don't want to be here. It said hey, tell me. What, 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 what? Did you hear that then? Someone just shuffled. No. Someone dragged. If there's somebody here and you tried to talk to us just now, can you please try and do that again? What is that noise? What the heck is that noise? It's like a hissing. Who's using it? It could be on it. It's jetting us, it's automatic flow. Oh. <laughs> Debunked. <laughs> oh well. Phil, Tim, just to let you know, we're going out onto the landing at the top of the stairs in case you hear any noises. <laughs> That's fine, Dale, don't we? That's fine. Jane is up there somewhere. And it goes all the way round the balcony and back down some stairs to here. Another of our CCTV cameras there looking up towards me. How are you feeling? Terrified. Terrified? Really? I feel like I shouldn't be in there. Really? Mm. And why? In what way? I feel like he's telling me to go away basically. <laughs> what, you feel like something don't want you down here? It's kind of like if you were in school and you were in like the teacher's area or something. You shouldn't be in there. It's like, like, kind of like, get out. Kind of that, that sense of, you don't belong here. Yeah. I want to sit down but I don't really want to sort of walk away from these corridors. Yeah, you wouldn't, would you? Huh? You wouldn't, would you? Why? Because of the country. I mean, I Can you hear that? Yes. <laughs> this is such a freaky place. There's all kinds of noises going on here. Um, ben is not feeling comfortable at all. 
I'm not really feeling that comfortable, to be fair. Um. Oh. Jeez, why does it keep doing that? I don't know. Stop. As you can see, we're very jumpy. Every time I turn on the torch. <laughs> Jesus, my heart. I just get to the point where my heart just settles down. <laughs> Again, there's something down here that's making noises. I will say that there is an awful lot of noises going in. There's loads of pipes and machinery or something down the end of there that, that every so often it makes this almighty bang. And that did get us quite a few times, didn't it? But there is kind of feeling like you said that it, you do feel like you're being watched and whether that's psychology, I don't know. What was that? That's like a girl's voice. What was that? That's like a girl's voice. There was a voice. And that was... Yeah. That was, it sounded like a, a lady. Singing, almost. We were sat next to each other like this. Um, and it came from like, Very good. that side of us. It came from your right hand side, I'm sure it did. Um, and it sounded like a lady singing, what I thought. You did hear something say, what did it say in your ear? Hey. Hey. But it was like a whisper. We were coming away from, well, we came around the turn and we were walking towards the end where like, all the noise was coming from. And as we're walking along, there's doors on your sides, isn't there? Yeah. And as I'm walking past one of the doors, just behind us, you in front of me, just behind my head, in my ear, like a really quiet whistle go. So Dale, what we're doing here with your camera. Okay, so what the reports say is a function happened here a while ago, I'm not sure how long ago, where a photographer was taking a photo of the group, sat on the stairs. Um, as this happened, the photographer was looking through the lens finder and all of a sudden came to a stop because someone was walking past the lens. And, and the photographer announced that, whereas everybody in the group said, what person? There was nobody there. There was nobody who walked past the lens. Uh, on publication of the photo, there was a white mist on the corner of the photo to one side of the photo. So what I'm gonna try and do is, a couple of scenarios to try and replicate it. We're gonna have one, me just taking a photo of the group, just these few few people here, few of the group. Another one where one of them walks past the camera as I take the photo to see if there's anything replicated from it. Okay, cool. Take the first shot that you're gonna take then and see if we get anything on the, on the camera. Okay. Okay, everybody looking at the camera. Okay, so now I'm going to take the second photo and what I'm going to have, I'm going to have Tim walking across the lens as I take the photo to see how that photo comes out. Okay, so no, um, I've got quite a clear shot of Tim in the photo there. Um, there's no white mist, there is no blurriness to it. Um, or anything like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the shutter speed uh, and see if that could attribute to it. Uh, Tim, if you could walk by for me. Right, that was a one second shutter speed. Um, there's nothing much really there. You can see a slight figure of something going by. Um, let me try it on a different shutter speed. If you just walk by again for me. Right, so there I've got a mist, um, which could be attributed to, compared to what they got in their photo. Um, you can see a slight mist at the bottom of the screen, which is Tim's legs as they go across. It was a long exposure. That was uh, nearly half a second exposure. Um, looking at that photo without looking at the other photo, there are so many parameters that could make up each shot that could make them comparable to each other or not. Where are you guys going? <laughs> We're going down to the basement.
Right, so we're just doing a quick walk around the basement. That's the armories. And now that's where I'm making my eyes. So what is this? What is all that white stuff? I don't know, I'm not touching it though. Looks like frost, doesn't it? Okay, so it is now the second vigil. Uh, we are just obviously sat here monitoring, monitoring the cameras, checking out that everything's in check and nothing crazy is happening. Oh, everyone else goes and have their fun. This fireplace behind me is absolutely brilliant. You can't see if I've got a night vision, but I've got some shots of it in the daytime. Um, but yeah, it's really impressive. It's a bit quiet in this room at the minute. But they keep getting bits and pieces downstairs in the basement. So I think that's where Tim and myself are heading on the next vigil. It's really warm, which is unusual for a basement. The sound from the heating system down that end. That's Jesus <sighs> Christ. Is that that machinery again there? I don't know, it's got to be surely. Just ask Sarah, did she get those bangs or whatever? Sarah, when you were in the basement, there's a, like a, a machine down one end. Like a water pump. Like a water pump. Did that keep clicking for you? It did click, yeah. Thank you. Right, so that can be ruled so out. We know, we know what that is. We can hear the electrical noises from there. The occasional little bit of water going through the pipes. you can hear. Apart from that. Hello? So the yeah, coaching horses used to pull up out on it. Big space as well. Just wandering through the main sort of hall here. What? No? Was that you? What? The bang. Yeah. Just gone past Ben and Sarah on CCTV. In the uh, the hub. So here we are. Jesus. So this uh, hallway here is basically behind the main stairwell to the left hand side. I am. It's another door on the right hand side. But down here and uh, down there, I think that way. Yeah, it is that way. That's what leads to the basement uh, where Dale and Jane are at the minute. Oh, yeah, my but there's nothing just. To... What the hell what was, was that? that? Oh, yeah, my but there's nothing just. To... What the hell what was, was that? that? Oh, yeah, my but there's nothing just. To... What the hell what was, was that? that? I feel like something's coming. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Tell me what, what well, are you thinking? I know I need to stop, I need to stand as ground, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my usual and trying to... Yeah, no, I think we should stay. What the hell was what that? What all out? I'm absolutely popping me pants. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really uneasy. About what's behind you? 
That's Tim. Is that you, Tim? That, so that that wasn't Tim before then. That no. was coming down from. It was down. That was down there. That way. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm. I'm just very un, unnerved about the whole thing. Um, I just feel very uneasy down here, as though there's something foreboding that doesn't want us down here. There's something dark, I find. I feel... You are right. <coughs> You're right. I just feel really short of breath. Right, let's go upstairs a minute. What are you doing? It's making Dale feel really breathless, hard to breathe. Breathless? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Breathless. Are you okay? Yeah, I am now. How was it down there for you? I felt very... Uh, I don't know what the word is, but it felt very foreboding. As though something was down there that didn't want us down there. Oh my god! Um, and I started to become breathless at that point, as though something was trying to get me out of there. That is such a bizarre thing for you to say, because Ben felt exactly the same and more or less said the same words as what you have. He's not got breathless, but he definitely said... He said that it's, it felt like um, when he was at school and he went into an area where the teachers were and it was like, you shouldn't be in here. Oh. Yeah, that's how I felt. It, it, it's, I, I shouldn't have been down there, kind of thing. Somebody just shout hello. No. No. Okay, so we've just come up from the the basement, the tunnel. Um, we heard a, a squelching yeah, noise squelch. from, yeah. from down in the tunnel, quite far down the tunnel. Then all of a sudden a really, really weird noise. Um, really quite close. I don't know what it is now. Okay, so we've just done second vigil on the hub and it was, I don't know, we heard a voice towards the end, didn't we? And we can't really make out what, it, you think it said hello, I can really make out what it said. We definitely heard a voice, I'm just hoping that the camera's got it. And it wasn't anybody else because I radioed through. Uh, all those spooky stairs, wasn't it? Hmm. So I don't know where exactly, but it seems it sounds like they're accessible. I've gone through a door with it. I don't know what they're doing. That's where we came in. It's warm, isn't it? Yeah. It's not your typical cold basement at all, is it? It's actually uh, quite nice when it comes to. Uh, Hey, Jesus, that's got my back of the neck up. Shut up! Jesus, shit. Shit you want us out of here, you're gonna have to be better than that, mate. Louder as well. <laughs> Down in the cellar. <laughs> That's um, a uh, bit of a strange place. Um, yeah. That banging noise, uh, uh, admittedly, it was a bit freaky yeah. at the time. Um, uh. But. That's that's probably some kind of machinery or something. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, there was a couple of doors, but unaccessible. Yeah, so you know through. you can't rule it. You know. Yeah. Say so it's definitely this. Definitely. This. Okay. So there you go. That was our night at Endcliffe Hall. So now we have to make a decision. Do we think 
It was haunted. And I'm going to go to Phil. I'm going to go to you first. Um, brilliant location, by the way. Mm, yeah. Um, but personally for me, I don't think an awful lot happened. Um, the, the vigils that I was with Tim, hmm. not an awful lot happened. Yeah. Um, so I'm sitting on the fence. I, I'd, I'd need some more convincing okay. To, okay. Uh, to say if it's haunted or not. Dale. With what I personally experienced, I got more than Phil. I heard a woman singing. I heard some squelching, some weird noises down in the basement. So I'd say, I'm gonna say more yes mm -hmm. than no. I don't think, I'm not 100% certain yes. that it's haunted, but I'm, I'm gonna go more on the side of yes, it is, than no, it's not. So yeah. All right. Partner in crime now then, what do you think, Jane? I think that Dale and I did get a lot more than you guys seem to have got. Mm. Um, mm. And mm. we did get some interesting, quite loud noises. Mm. I do feel there was a little bit of hysteria involved <laughs> in the <laughs> night where we did build things up and that, that made us feel more yeah. nervous about yeah. things. But um, I'm not going to sit on the fence. I, because I got so much more, I'm going to say yes. Okay. okay, okay. Tim, what do you reckon? Uh, sort of similar to Mr. Phil because most of the night I was with him, but at the same time, um, I don't know, me personally, I like to talk to the lady that let us in a bit more because that banging down the end of the corridor, Yeah. Uh, you know, was that something, oh yeah, that was this room, it was locked off and yeah, it always does that, or was that something, yeah. you know, that we had just something mechanical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there mechanical. were a lot of noises that, that were down yeah. in that cellar. It was always it? down there. If we tell her to speak to her, she's going to say, no, it's not worked for 10 years. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that yeah. was sort of freaky. Sort of answers bit, everything, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. without that, but we no, If someone was to say, oh, I've heard you've been so-and-so place and, you know, what did you think? I said, mm, not too much, to be honest. Okay. My, my honest opinion, probably more sway towards no, but... Maybe. Yeah, possibly, Still, possibly maybe, fence. but yeah, it was a quiet night. Ben, <laughs> you loved it down there in that cellar. <laughs> That's a strong word. <laughs> I don't <What>? think... Cellar? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big word, actually. No, I don't think I've ever been so terrified by a place before. Yeah. So uncomfortable. I really did not want to be you in that You were really cellar. uncomfortable, weren't you? Mm. Yeah, there? it's... I don't know. I think, naturally, I just hate hallways anyway. Mm. But because it was pitch black down there and... Obviously, I was getting noises and hearing stuff at the end, and then obviously hearing the whisper in my ear as well. Yeah. It's just all built up for me, and honestly, I just did not enjoy it. There. And if I'm going to say anything, yes, it's going to be haunted. You think it is? Okay. Well, for me personally, I think I think. Do you know what? I think there is something going on there because it was my venue, if you remember, and uh, I did a lot of research on the internet before, and I know that other groups have been in there, and I know that other groups have got things as well. Right. So I think based on what we got. I think with your whisper, um, we did hear shuffling noises, which couldn't have been the pipes or the machinery no, or whatever. True. So I do mm -hmm. think, I think if there is anything, it is down in that that basement yeah. area. You do feel it's very sort of like it closes area. in on you. So I'm going to say, mm -hmm. I think there is something going on at Endcliff Hall. It just goes to prove, though, um, what people witness. It's very subjective. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And it varies from one person to the other. Yes, yeah. of course mm -hmm. it does. Yeah. 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 Overall, then. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a majority of a... Majority, yes. It's haunted. It's haunted. Yes. It's haunted. Built in 1891, my venue is a public house which is well known locally as being haunted. It has a very colourful history with tales of prostitution and gambling and even suicide and murder having taken place there. The current landlady won't even venture upstairs by herself. This venue is not for the faint-hearted. My venue is a Grade 2 listed music hall. It's reported to be the oldest remaining music hall in the world. And what's even better is it's never ever been investigated. Something else different about this place is that all the spirits here are happy. There are male and female apparitions that have spoken to many customers in the past. Okay, I'm bringing a haunted barn to the table, a little different from the norm, not done before. Uh, animals there often spooked for no apparent reason. It's like belongings and tools that uh, quite regularly disappear and then turn up days later. And uh, as with many places, knocks and bangs reported when there's apparently nobody about. A little different from what we're used to.
We've all looked at the venues, we've all made our decisions, and the winner is...